Hi, I'm John Kanalopoulos from Athens, Greece and New York City, New York. Eye surgeon, clinical professor of ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York. Our group, uh, based here in Athens, Greece, is well known for its contribution in treatments of keratoconus and post-lasic ectasia. We have been working with a high-frequency ultrasound, uh, the Artemis unit, over the last year and we ran into what we believe is a very, very important finding presented herein. We found out that although, as it is known and published in the past, ectatic corneas appear to have thicker epithelium over the area of the ectasia, the overall thickness of the epithelium in these eyes is much thicker than in normal corneas. And this corresponds also when comparing these eyes with similar eyes that have been cross-linked before. The epithelium in ectatic eyes that have not been treated is much thicker, the overall epithelium, than eyes that have ectasia that have been cross-linked. Now this is a very important finding because in an era where cornea thickness will be very easy to attain from um, uh, OCT, anterior segment OCT devices, we could simply look at a pachymetry map of a cornea and have a very early sign of ectasia. We theorize that this epithelial thickness is a reaction to the change in biomechanical behavior of the cornea. Probably this cornea pulsates more with the heartbeat uh, pulse uh, drawn through the body, uh, reacts more to eye rubbing or even blinking. And this injurious effect to the epithelium probably causes epithelial hyperplasia and thus a sensitive sign of a cornea that is not biomechanical stable. Obviously, larger uh, and longer term follow-up to this theory need to establish this diagnosis, and I hope you find the presentation of the data of this work interesting. I thank you very much for your attention. So uh, I'm very pleased to present to you the data. These are my financial interests of this study. We tried to correlate the epithelial thickness uh, with a high-frequency ultrasound in normal, uh, keratoconic and eyes that have been previously treated with uh, collagen cross-linking. We used the Artemis device and we found that when looking at mean center and transitional zone thickness, as you can see here, there was a statistically significant P0005 of uh, the um, ectatic corneas being thicker. This is a table showing the uh, different thicknesses. This is uh, again thicknesses and standard deviation. Uh, this is a, a more description of the, the data. And uh, again, mean, central, and peripheral epithelial thickness. This is an image of the Artemis uh, high-frequency ultrasound and a map um, in a uh, normal eye. Uh, this is the scattergram showing the epithelial thickness um, and here the thickness of a uh, uh, normal eye in a uh, ectatic eye. These are the uh, uh, areas that we sampled and you can see here this is a very dramatic slide control keratoconus not treated and treated eyes uh, and the significant uh, difference in overall epithelial thickness again another example epithelial maps with the Artemis um, these are some cases that we have treated with uh, collagen cross-linking with the Athens protocol as you can see here uh, topography guided uh, uh, removal of the epithelium and collagen cross-linking with uh, uh, 7 milliwatts for uh, uh, 50 minutes. And again, here is a case example of uh, overall epithelial thickness in an eye before and after cross-linking and another eye here. This is before and after cross-linking and how after cross-linking the epithelium became normal. So. Highly irregular epithelium is suggested of ectasia and probably a new diagnostic curve. So it is my opinion we now have a new paradigm in ophthalmology. Measuring the average epithelial thickness, this will be done easily with the new OCT technologies and will be able to predict the ectasia potential of suspicious eyes. I thank you very much for your attention.